Hey, I'm back today for my last edition of the Healthy Fats video series. We're going to be talking today about fish and how to get healthy fats from fish. So the secret to healthy fats in general, uh, or the, the queen bee of healthy fats, I guess I would say, is omega-3 fatty acids. It's like so famous in the health community. No one has ever not heard of omega-3s um, in the media. It's a pretty bright shining star and even among the kind of um, health experts that like to be very wary of miracle cures and miracle foods, um, even in those circles, this is fully embraced and uh, there's no debate. On the labels of fish and fish oil products, you're gonna see health claims like helps heart disease, helps brain function. Um, those are true. Those have been established as absolute fact. So you don't have to wonder if omega-3s are good for you. I've already talked about one kind of omega-3 in this series when I was talking about grass-fed animal products. So alpha-linoleic acid is also an omega-3. It does not come from fish, but it comes from animals that have been eating green things. And it is comparable to the kinds of omega-3s that do come from fish. Now the reasons that you might want to eat fish instead of those animal products is that fish and fish fat are a lot more easily digested. So if you have any digestive problems, fish oil, fish fat products are definitely easier to digest. But they're also just about as expensive as that expensive grass-fed meat, so there's not really much of a price difference. It's really about flavor and preference um, if you don't have a digestive problem. So the other two kinds of omega-3 are within fish products or they call marine fish products um, or marine omega-3s I guess you'd say and those are EPA and DHA and if you get a fish oil in the store so this is my favorite fish oil that I buy it's Carlson brand you will have the breakdown of the EPA and the DHA. This one says it has 800 milligrams of EPA and 500 milligrams of DHA per teaspoon. So it'll always break down those two. They're both super important. They're both essential fatty acids. Our body cannot make them and our body does need them. So really, really important to combat chronic disease, inflammation, especially when it comes to our heart health and our artery health. Um, those have been very, very well established in all the literature and all the studies that have been done. There's no question that these EPA and DHA fatty acids will help your heart tremendously. It really cuts down in on arrhythmia, which is one of the big causes of heart attacks, and it cuts down on stroke as well. But it's not just for those who have heart trouble. It's also amazing for the brain and for brain health. So if anyone out there has a family history of uh, dementia or any kind of Alzheimer's, this is an amazing, amazing superfood that you really want to know about. Like one of the uh, famous doctors from the Cleveland Clinic says, fish oils and omega-3s in particular are like powerful medicines without the harmful side effects. So this is a great way to look at your omega-3s and of course it's best to get them in whole food form. So I'm going to tell you about some of the best whole food forms of omega-3 fatty acids from marine sources in this video. So first I want to talk about how those fish get all that great omega-3. They have a diet of phytoplankton. So phytoplankton are plant cells coming from marine plants like seaweed and phytoplankton is the amazing source of chlorophyll in their diet and it's what the fish make into that EPA and DHA. And different fish in our oceans and rivers have different amounts of that um, chlorophyll that, and that EPA and DHA that come out in their meat. So. I want to tell you about the fish that have the most so that you'll know 
which fish has got the, the most bang for your buck. And I'm also going to be talking a little bit about toxicity because we know if you've watched my last video on seafood that toxins are a big issue with fish as well. So mercury is the biggest one that we find in fish and uh, other heavy metals, but mainly it's mercury. So the top sources of EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids in fish are salmon, mackerel, and herring. I should also say that anchovies are a top source too if you're measuring ounce per ounce. Um, so anchovies have a ton of omega-3s in them, but uh, anchovies are extremely salty and in our recipes and food preparation of anchovies, we don't tend to use very much of them. So it's really hard to get a lot of anchovies in your diet. And that's why they're not in the top three in my list. So just a little caveat there. When you look up the top sources of omega-3 in fish, you're gonna find some different ratings depending on what website you look at. And that's just because fish live in different places across the world. They have different diets as they are in different places. And also the life cycle of a fish affects the amount of EPA and DHA that is in their body as well. So that's why there's some fluctuation in the rating charts, but I'm giving you kind of an overview. I've looked at a lot of the rating charts and uh, some of the consistencies are there, you know, regardless. So salmon, mackerel, and herring. So what are the best ways to get salmon, mackerel, and herring into your diet? Well, you can get frozen salmon, and I recommend wild Alaskan salmon for the purity. So there's less mercury toxicity in the wild Alaskan salmon than any other form. You can get that frozen in most grocery stores across the U.S. and even in Europe. So that is really widely available in frozen form, which means you have to cook it yourself, which can be a little stinky and a little messy if you don't do it out on the grill. But you can also get that in canned form. And I brought a couple of my favorite cans here. I've got, this is from a kind of traditional grocery store. It's called Think Pink. You always want to get your salmon pink and not red. The pink has the higher amount of DHA and EPA. Um, so wild pink Alaskan salmon is what the can should say if you're purchasing it in the grocery store. Um, I also brought my favorite Costco brand of salmon. This is the Kirkland four pack of salmon and it does say that it has about 500 milligrams of omega-3 in here so 520 milligrams per serving and a serving is a can and I really like to make salmon cakes out of this it's really really good mixed up with some eggs and breadcrumbs the yolks and the eggs will add more omega-3s by the way so that's a great combination of superfoods and um, so yeah, Kirkland is an affordable brand as well. My favorite brand of mackerel is the Trader Joe's brand. So I get that also in a can. And this can has a ton of omega-3s. It's got 1,100 milligrams of DHA and 380 milligrams of EPA. So this is amazing. So a teaspoon of this has 1,600 milligrams. And this whole package has about 1500 milligrams. So a teaspoon is a lot less. If you don't like eating fish, then of course fish oil is a great option. You wanna get a reputable, well-tested brand. Carlson is great because it's tested for mercury toxicity and other heavy metals. Um, it's also very pure. It comes from Norwegian fish, wild fish, mostly anchovies, but they put a little bit of mackerel in there too. And so it's just extremely well tested and pure and well reputed in the healthcare community. But if you want the real thing, then this mackerel is delicious. If you don't like a really fishy fish like sardines or tuna, mackerel is a little less fishy tasting and it's got a nice light colored flesh. It is darker than the lightest colored flesh fish, but it is a, a relatively light colored flesh. So if you don't like a dark colored flesh, Mackerel is a good choice too. And then I really like herring, which is also kind of a lighter colored flesh. Um, and her uh, herring comes usually in pickled form. Um, you'll find it all throughout Europe in pickled form in a jar, like usually it's just a glass, clear glass jar. And it will be in vinegar and usually has some onions in with it. And my other seafood video, I have a picture of my favorite 
uh, Northwest, West Coast brand of herring. Actually, it's from, it's from Canada, so it's not from the West Coast, but we have it in a lot of our stores here on the West Coast of the United States. So I'll point you to that video if you're curious about what that brand is and what that jar looks like. I really like to have herring in the fridge all the time. I have a couple of jars in the fridge pretty much all the time just for emergency use so that I can grab a couple of chunks of fish out of it on the go or chop it up and put it on top of a salad. It's just a really, really quick way to get your whole food omega-3 fish fatty acids in. So I'll refer you to that video to get more details about that brand. But those are the top three omega-3, DHA, and EPA sources. The next three after that are, like I said, anchovies. Um, sardines are very kind of popular these days. Not everybody likes them. A lot of times they come with the skin and the bones on. So not everyone likes that. I certainly don't. It's, it's kind of extra fishy that way and the bones are kind of crunchy and it's kind of gross to look at. So Trader Joe's does have one uh, brand of sardines that has boneless and skinless and so does Costco. Costco has a really great brand um, that is boneless and skinless and they come in more of a paper box that has a metal tin inside. So sardines aren't for everyone, but they are a great source of EPA and DHA. Like I said, anchovies are an amazing source and I really recommend putting chopped up, finely chopped up anchovies in any salad dressing to give it extra saltiness and extra flavor. Trout is one of my favorites. I actually really like smoked trout um, from the Trader Joe's. They have cans um, much like this of smoked trout in Trader Joe's as well. So you can get that, of course, fresh if you know any fishermen in the Northwest. We have lots of rainbow trout and you can get it canned. And sometimes you can find trout that's frozen, but usually you're gonna get it from a friend or a fisherman rather than at the store because it's pretty hard to find at the store. The fish that we find at the store in the frozen section most often is the lowest in its content of EPA and DHA. So things like cod and pollock, um, even halibut is not really high in these omega-3 fatty acids. Flounder also pretty low. So these are the kinds of cheap, flaky white fish that we make fish sticks out of or fish patties that you might get um, at a fast food store or restaurant um, that make like a fish sandwich. So these unfortunately are not very high in omega-3 fatty acids. Now if you're a shellfish fan, the good news is all shellfish also have omega-3s in them. So you can get the omega-3s from shellfish as well. They're not as high as those top three fish that I mentioned, salmon, mackerel, and herring, but they're not too far below those. So mussels and oysters are at the top sources of omega-3s in shellfish. And then after that, you've got things like crab and lobster and clams are also um, a good source of omega-3s, but not the best source among the shellfish. So those are some good ways. All fish has some omega-3 in it and all shellfish does too. So those are good sources, but again, not the best. And uh, if you do have heart problems or heart disease, it's recommended that you get a serving of fish oil or fish every day, if possible. And for the rest of us, three times a week, a serving is plenty. Now, I'm dealing with ongoing cancer scares in my life. I have uh, possible breast cancer, DCIS. And so with an inflammation issue like that, I always recommend that my clients have a daily teaspoon of really good quality fish oil as long as they're not having fish in their diet. If they're having fish for a meal that day, they certainly don't need to take that teaspoon. And then also for folks who are dealing with dementia, so my dad has dementia and I've prescribed for him uh, a nice big tablespoon of fish oil. So um, he gets a couple of teaspoons or a tablespoon every day. And that is amazing for brain health and brain recovery. So brain cell um, repair and recovery can happen 
with this fish oil and fish products in general. So it's one of the top supplements for folks with any kind of dementia, Alzheimer's, or just brain health problems. So you want to take a higher dose only with your doctor's permission. My dad has his doctor's permission, but um, I feel like that's one of the most important things that he does every day to keep from falling into a deeper stage of dementia. So really, really important for inflammation in general, for diseases, chronic diseases like cancer, heart disease, um, metabolic syndrome, diabetes. Fish oil is an amazing supplement. And fish in whole food form is even more amazing, especially when it's from a wild caught fish that is clean and pure and free of all that mercury. So I hope that you'll ask any questions, clarification. I hope you'll watch my other video as well because that might give some more suggestions about products and recipes and ways to use these fish products. Um, and definitely let me know what your interests are on this topic because I'd love to make more videos to make it easier for you to get fish into your life, into your diet. So this is the last video of my Healthy Fats series. And in my coming videos, I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on self-care and low toxin lifestyle. So look for my next series coming up next week. And I will see you there. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.